In this video, we'll be talking about gastritis. So gastritis refers to the inflammation of the lining of the stomach. There could be two types of gastritis, chronic and acute. So the chronic gastritis is often associated with H. pylori infection and acute gastritis has many reasons. Let us review that aspect. So as we mentioned, there are two types of gastritis, acute and chronic. Acute gastritis can occur suddenly. And this is a sudden inflammation in the stomach lining. Whereas chronic one is kind of like a long-term inflammation of the stomach lining. Let us try to understand the cause of acute gastritis. So there could be irritant such as alcohol. There could be non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. There could be exposure of other medications which might evoke inflammation. There could be infections like bacterial or viral infection. There could be excessive amount of stress or bile reflux all can add up to the acute gastritis. In the chronic gastritis, the key and the major cause is the H. pylori infection. And in autoimmune disorder, gastritis, there are autoantibodies which target certain cell type in the stomach and creates huge inflammation in the stomach. So we would review both the side in a bit more details. And it's also important to understand sometimes chronic gastritis can happen due to environmental toxicant exposure and which is happening for a very long time. So first we'll talk about chronic gastritis which is often associated with h pylori infection h pylori enters your broad body through contaminated water and kind of attacks the lining of the stomach and uh, these layers are important because that's supposed to be protecting your uh, digestive system <coughs> uh, from acids right so basically your body's acid now gets into the deeper region of the stomach and cause ulcers so that is the big problem. Generally, the antrum part of the stomach is affected and later on it's spread into the entire stomach. If we zoom in, we can see this is the gastric mucosa. Here you can see also the mucus layer. There is a, a thin layer of gastric HCL on top of it. Generally, all of the bacteria are dying because of this gastric HCL in the stomach. But H. pylori has something different. It has specific mechanism by which it can change the pH of the stomach and increase it. And one thing by which it does it is basically urease, which can inhibit the gastric acidity. So H. pylori has several molecules, uh, several basically enzymes that can convert urea into ammonia, which can neutralize the acidity in, in, in terms. And then H. pylori has specific adhesion molecule which helps them to ad adhere with the uh, cells of the stomach lining. And the flagella helps to move and navigate through this thick amount of uh, mucus. And there are specific other proteins such as VAC-A or CAG-A which can lead to, uh, th these are potential cytotoxin and they are related to be associated with the pathogenicity. So the surface bound protein VAC-A works like adhesins um, that can trigger specific cytokine production which evoke inflammation. Sometimes also it lead to cytochrome C release that ultimately lead to apoptosis. Now in the stomach there are several cells like neck cells, parietal cells, peptic cells. Now parietal cells are the very important cell in context of gastritis. I mean they basically secrete HCL right. Anyway Basically, parietal cell is about to secrete uh, 160 millimole per liter of hydrochloric acid. Um, anyway, parietal cell contains specific large branching known as canaliculi. And if you zoom into the parietal cell, you can see there are several transporters on the uh, surface of the parietal cell. The driving force of HCL secretion is regulated by the sodium potassium uh, pump. But in autoimmune gastritis, what happens is there are autoantibodies which can target these pump and render them uh, sort of like non-functional. So not only these uh, sodium potassium ion exchange pump, but Kassel's intrinsic factor is also targeted. So that leads to overall death of some of these parietal cells. Also, the Kassel intrinsic factor is now reduced. So vitamin B absorption in the intestine would be reduced. That might lead to anemia 
let's talk about the causes of acute gastritis so acute gastritis means like inflammation of the gastric mucosa mucosa which occurs suddenly so it could be uh, erosive or non erosive and we already discussed the triggers that can lead to acute gastritis one of the big trigger is the non steroidal anti inflammatory drug if they are overused they can lead to a lot of problem commonly implicated drugs include aspirin ibuprofen naproxen etc so this is the gastric lining and it is protected by prostaglandins basically especially prostaglandin e2 now nsaids actually prevent the prostaglandin synthesis that's how the protective mechanism that prevents our uh, gastric lining to be damaged that is kind of off and in that case gastric lining starts getting damaged so overall it lead to mucosal injury and decreased protective mechanism there are other considerable situations known as curling ulcer and this is a consequence of hypervolemia so it lead to severe burns and massive loss of plasma volume and uh, basically it creates a burn wound and uh, mucosal ischemia occurs because there is a decrease blood flow into the gastric mucosa that lead to ischemia uh, associated injuries there is also brain injury which can lead to sort of gastritis and it's known as uh, cushing ulcer basically when there is brain injury maybe there could be hyperstimulation of the vagal nerve it would increase the acetylcholine levels which would in turn increase the gastric axial secretion too much acid would be detrimental uh, for the overall stomach lining right so all of these uh, there are several treatment regime diagnosis is done generally by endoscopy one of the general treatment is proton pump inhibitors that would reduce the production of gastric acid um there are also histamine blockers h2 blockers basically histamine receptor blockers there are um there are regimes that tells you that don't use too much of nsaids another thing is like restricting alcohol consumption and cigarette smoke is another way you can like overcome this kind of disease and when it comes to the chronic uh, disease treatment h pylori has to be abrogated urease test is used for h pylori detection i have a detailed video on that but there are stepwise uh, first line second line and third line therapy for h pylori which is basically ppi and a combination of cocktail of antibiotics that is used to like eradicate uh, h pylori this is how the overall gastric ulcer can be possibly treated so i hope this video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, see you in next video thank you